Hello, hello, hello. Let me check in with uh, Catherine M. Valenti's uh, Space Opera, um, her 2018 um, science fiction novel, uh, which I have read the first three chapters of, which has gotten a lot of kind of comparisons to um, Douglas Adams, though actually I am actually getting more of a Salman Rushdie vibe off of it. Uh, if you're going to go for someone who is a flamboyant fellow with a uh, British accent, we'll, we'll, we'll go with, we'll go with um, Salman Rushdie, where indeed we open up with uh, the Fermi Paradox, um, and uh, it turning out to be, uh, you know, all the explanations of there not being any aliens about, all being completely utterly wrong, and there are. There is a shit ton of aliens. Uh, unfortunately, like human beings making distinctions about what's, what's, what's human and what's meat, including other human beings, for whatever reasons they might want to do, including just other species, um, that's unfortunately the same problem that the universe has had, which is, um, you know, all these very different species. People like, no, you're, you're not a person, you're meat. And uh, thus, thus a whole full-scale giant brouhaha uh, war happens, uh, intergalactic war happens, which, you know, um, Valenti is very much... Um, in kind of a comedic tone, talks about it basically as a domestic dispute among, you know, amongst the species of the galaxy. Um, and, you know, with a little bit of uh, interstellar genocide mixed in, you monster. Um, and uh, once they're done, they're like, well, we better not fucking do that again because we don't think we'd actually survive if we did that. I'm sure giant hunks didn't. So we need to do something to kind of to to bring us together or to stave off that stuff to, you know, and God knows we don't want international sport. So we're 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 pulling out the disco ball, uh, which will come into the whole Eurovision aspect of this novel as we go along. We then go to Earth, where our our main human representative is uh, Decibel Jones, uh, Desi, who uh, has a nana, who, who isn't, doesn't think much about all these science fiction movies with like, you know, uh, you know, acid for blood, alien or predator and all that stuff. She's like, no, I'm much more for Bugs Bunny and stuff like that because, you know, there actually are bunnies around, whereas your alien stuff is just in your, is in your head and stuff like that. Um, Desi, whose his family is so large that his nana is very shocked one day to look up and find that he is in like you know, a uh, hundred and you know in twenty forty foot um, gigantic uh, posters in 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 uh, in the in, uh, in in the local in in London's London's big billboards and that he somehow had a gigantic mu music career without them noticing, um, which indeed he has is for kind of an ambisexual, a glam, glam rocker for like one album. Um, unfortunately, the, um, uh, the, is it the drummer? I can't remember if she's the drummer. I think she's the drummer or just the, just the, uh, the singer, um, the co-singer. Um, she jokingly asks if he wants to get, you know, wants to get married and, and he kind of laughs at her. At which point, apparently, it wasn't a joke, and in times of stress, she gets in the car and drives around. Unfortunately, a badger um, decided to cross the road at that point, apparently having trouble with his young, young disrespectful badgers, slams her car into something and dies. And he's pretty much bereft, and that's the end of that, and he is washed up and middle-aged and drunk on the floor where in chapter three, suddenly uh, a flamingo alien with kind of glass blown legs and, and um, weird kind of like flower, flower hat stuff, flower 
flowers sticking out of its head appears and starts talking to him in just sort of general reference points. The first one kind of starting off with a whole string of musical references ending with uh, Lou Reed's Take a Walk on the Wild Side, except it's all the all the color birds sing. Do, 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 do. And then switches to um, uh, more even, and he cries, and apparently this alien is appearing to everyone all at once at the same time on this Thursday at 11, 11 a.m., um, and uh, everyone everyone cries initially because it's just this basically universe destroying. You know what you thought the universe was is now destroyed, and it's also just, just amazingly emotional thing. And it's just like I love you, and I I would do anything to make sure you weren't harmed. This beautiful, beautiful, beautiful creature. Um, but um, he. Uh, she switches to another one, which is to talks to him in the uh, voice of his of the dead, the the, the dead the dead woman. Uh, that doesn't go over well with him. He re- really freaks him out. Um, and then for a third try, she's he is she switches to the voice of Ruby, uh, a American waitress on his first his, on the first and only grand tour of the United States, his first American. Who and then it's kind of this waitress. Come on, y'all. We, your, I'll be your, I'll be your guide on this, um, this, this um, ontologically destroying um, kind of tour thing here. You, we were hoping we were going to get you in, into the thing. You were, you were, we thought you were going to be a chill dude who would, you know, take it easy on this and and be cool. But uh, it's not really not working. And it's like I need a minute. I need a minute. I have been drinking a whole uh, way too much. And I need a minute. And um, yeah, that's the start of Space Opera, which I, I think I'm, I, I enjoy it because, yes, it's not Douglas Adams. It's Salman Rushdie, and it's a super, super overload of everything going all at once at high speeds. And I think I read um, other Catherine M. Valente Palmaset uh, using the Palmaset as its thing, and it was just too poetically arch, whereas this is just cram-packed um, Salman Rushdie culture reference, um, hyperactive science fiction. It's not poetic at all, which I can I, I can take way, way better. I can take this way better uh, as uh, something to enjoy, in t- to enjoy. So yes, um, yes, so we shall see how it goes. I, I I've I've heard from the description that uh, uh, Decibel Jones is going to get uh, get um, drafted to be a part of uh, the basically their Eurovision contingent to uh, the the grand Universal Space Opera, um, possibly the stakes of the, the existence of Earth. Who knows? We shall see. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's that's the, st- the start of space opera by Catherine M. Valente, Valente, more videos later.